Yo guys, what up? Me, Patrick LeVar, back again. We got a quick little video here. I'm going to go through, if you guys don't know, we've been doing the uh, mobile uh, photography challenge, shooting seasonal shots in your area. So um, it was, we're on day three, right, roughly right now. So I'm going to quickly go through the uh, Discord so we can look at some of the stuff that people have made, some really good stuff there. I'm um, really happy with the turnout. We've got a lot of people posting some stuff and some good activity going on here. Again, if you guys are not informed about the uh, the Discord server, you can look uh, the link down in the, the video here. Jump in, and again, we got mobile photography, mobile filmmaking. It's just a place where we all can come together, chat, and, and, and you know, talk about photos and all that jibba jabba and stuff like that. So this was my first entry, of course, on that day. I was using uh, the anamorphic lens on this one, and I shot this in, I think, uh, Filmic Pro Fairlight or First Light or Fairlight or First Light, whatever it's called. So, um, and then edited in Polar, which was cool. And let's jump down here. We had another cool one here. Sorry, guys, I'm not even trying to pronounce the names because I'm horrible with the names. You guys can see the names on the screen there. <laughs> Very cool here. I love the colors there. A little bit dark, but I think um, it's really, it's really contrasty pops out. I love that the colors there. Super cool there. Uh, let's see. See, so you guys were very active here in the chat recently, the last couple of days, which is really good to see. Uh, we got some really cool stuff here from uh, the boss lady here, and um, she basically helps me run everything here inside the Discord server. So please jump in and say hi. Fantastic little uh, shot here. I love the leading lines. We got the leading lines straight down into the uh, what it looks like might be a uh, old uh, lighthouse there. Let's see if I looks like an old lighthouse or an abandoned lighthouse. Very cool. Very similar to the weather here in Japan, a little bit overcast and stuff like that. Another good one here, coastal shot. Super, that's awesome how that, that little log kind of pumps out of there with the yellow, I like that. And uh, let's see, what else do we got going on here? This one was really cool. Um, a little night shot here. A little, it's got a real good cinematic feel, which I totally like. Parking garage silver. <laughs> But I love the colors there. Very cool. I wish I was a little bit dark. Uh, we could have brought, brought that up just a little bit. But fantastic shot. Very cinematic there. I love that one. You're welcome. <laughs> what else we have here? Another cool coastal shot here. This is very good. Love that. Love that. Uh, that was took on a Samsung Galaxy 9S Plus. Nice. I think we got a closer shot of that one. I don't think I've got to get some more love on that one too. Make sure I give all these guys love and another one here i love the city shots urban life what's life like where people are uh very cool shot here again leading lines you got the center point everything going straight down to the center of those lights or and even the way the ceiling is it's all triangle this is my eye goes straight down the middle of the scene here that's very cool again another inside shot Woo! packed in there tight i was like basically the trains in japan in the morning but I've been I've been shying away from trains. I've been riding my bike as much as I possibly can, just trying to uh, stay out of uh, busy areas. This one was pretty cool too. Here, uh, very interesting shot. Looks like we also definitely got some leading lines. We got some motion blur happening here. And we got the uh, little child there in the subject. Very cool. I would have brought I would have brightened it up just a tad bit. Colors are pretty cool. A little saturation. Very cool. Very cool. I tend to lean, lean more towards desaturation. Yeah, you use the the saturation uh, slider very, I would say, givenly. A little bit, a little bit goes too much, you guys. So that's the one thing that I would always give a tip towards is uh, easy on the saturation uh, uh, slider. Another cool one here. I like that. I got the little bridge there highlighted. The sky looks actually great. Nice little uh, pink tones there. It's got a summer summer vibe shot here. The water looks fantastic. That water makes me just want to jump in. Super fantastic shot. Very cool. And then we've all seen this angle of a shot of the feet. You know, it's a little summertime view, feel there. That was my second one I did. Didn't use the anamorphic lens there. I just went straight normal lens. But I took my phone and actually had it set down on the ground upside down. Whoa, 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 whoa. I probably just threw everything off. Had it upside down so I can get everything and then just reversed, uh, re-rotated it. And again, even when I'm doing my color grades and, and editing, I'm very light. I tend to go negative on this on the saturation. Instead of pumping the shot, the saturation up, I tend to pull it down because that's just my view. I, I like pastel coloreds. Like I like them to have that pastel feel a little bit. So um, I'm always tending. And then here, guys, I've been using the Polar app recently. I have Adobe Lightroom. I have the Lightroom mobile app. 
but I've been playing with the uh, Polar app just because of the fact that I can do, um, I can use, <laughs> totally, um, I can use LUTs inside of there, which I really find very cool. Uh, I like some of my cinematic LUTs that I use, so I'm, I've been throwing those in there. So, again, you could use some of these settings here, I guess. Uh, I don't know. You can import this into Polar, but I always just export it out just for people if they want to look at it and see what went down. So, let's see here. Another cool night shot. Very cool. Red's awesome. That building looks fantastic. Yeah. The thing on the night shots, I always try to... If we can, I mean, crushing the blacks is great, but if you can, try to get some more details in those shadows. And it's a, it's a game of how much noise do you want in your in your foot in your uh, image. And the same thing when I'm filming at night, how much noise? Because the more noise, again, you can see the details of the shadow, but you get more noise. So it's it's a it's a balance of how dark or how uh, light you want your shadows. This is a great shot, though. Very good job. This is one of my favorites. I love nature shots fantastic here this butterfly look like maybe coming out of a cocoon or something that is fantastic capture right there i already yeah i already liked it earlier so definitely yeah <gasps> yeah definitely because that was a great shot that was a really great shot looks like we got a little bit of vignette around the air just to focus our eye towards the center super cool i'm very happy with that shot that's great and then this was uh let's say another shot it looks like maybe a different angle or or i like this one too and a lot with the nature shots it's just really good just to keep them very raw. You don't want to do too much color changing on them. At least when I will look at National Geographic books and I see the, the shots of animal wildlife, they don't really do heavily grading. It's just mild stuff just to enhance the photo. It's not really uh, big too much on grading and like tweaking all the colors and stuff. Another really cool shot here. I, I like this one too. Again, I like the, the wildlife shots. This is fantastic. Look at that. Great little moment there. Fantastic. Great moment there. Let's see what else we got here. Forest shot. Gotta love the forest shot. So here we got some really cool shallow depth of field going on. We got the mushroom there. I love all the uh, moss on the tree. Wet forest. That is just fall all the way if it's fall there. <laughs> nice little rose shot. Pretty cool here. I would have gotten, I would have kind of cropped down in there a little bit more and then cropped out that unneeded background and, and, and basically bring up that rose as our main subject a little bit more. See like they did here. Uh, she zoomed in even more and got or got closer and isolating the subject there. I like that. That is awesome. That's a great shot. That's a really good shot. This is also fantastic here. Fantastic shot on the Samsung 9 edited in Lightroom. I love it. I love it. Little poppy there. And this was an interesting shot too. Check this out. Look at this this location. This location is fabulous, man. In the desert. Like, and I love just the way they got the white and the red. It's just a great shot. It's awesome. I would love to go there and hang out for the day, run around, get some filming. I love the trees, I think that hillside, that like massive dune on the side. This is a really cool shot. I love it. I would love to go out and hang out there. That'd be cool. And what else we got going on here? Oh, another one here. This was pretty cool. I love we got the road here. But one thing I, I wish we could have got zoomed in more in on, I, which I thought was really cool, was the, um, look at the mountains back here. The mountains back there. Ah, that is just, I love when you got clouds peaking, like, you know, mountains peaking above the clouds like that. I would have cropped this in more about like right here. That would have been fantastic. Look at that shot. That's a great shot. Yeah, I would have just cropped it in a little bit more tighter to bring out the more like this, bring that subject out, even maybe something like that. Woo. Good shot though, good capture, nice moment, very good. Let's see here. Oh, this one was cool. Um, I, I, I basically said it looks like at first I thought was this Japan because our crosswalks are very similar to this. But uh, I love this nice little time lapse or not lap. Uh, what do we say? Shutter speed. And we got the uh, the shutter. I haven't done these shots in a while. Long exposure. There we go. A long exposure shot. This one came out really nice. The shadows are not too crushed. You know, I can see a little bit of detail in the shadows there. That's very good. That's a good shot. This one was pretty cool. Kind of gave me, to me, it gave me more of like a Halloween vibe. But I love how you frame the 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 moon there. It's hard to get moon shots with the cell phone. Yeah, I've tried several times where there were some just epic moons. And I'm like, oh. And then I go grab my phone. I'm like, oh. <laughs> it doesn't look nothing like it. But this is cool how you, uh, you got it framed up between the leaves here. I love that. That's fantastic. That's a great thing to do is just framing stuff up between with other things. 
Uh, and then me yesterday goofing off, um, doing some uh, CG stuff. If you guys don't know, I've been I, I've been focusing ever since my 100 moments with me. I've been uh, getting back into doing the things that I really like, and I like CG compositing, trying to composite stuff. So I made this uh, tree in Blender. It's a Japanese maple tree, and of course we got so many of them around here in Japan. And uh, basically made that in Blender, and did some compositing. I'm learning Nuke. Nuke is a uh, a compositing software pretty much like industry standard in Hollywood so it's it, like it's bah, blowing my mind how to to use like a new software anytime we use something new you're just like oh great but I'm actually I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying this learning a new a new software and a new process and this thing is fantastic so I've been um I played with that yesterday while I was at work didn't really have time to go out and, and shoot any uh, pics outside so kind of made my own so uh, we got this one that was added in this today. This is really cool. I love the colors on this. This color palette, boom, I love it. Fantastic little shot there. Man, I, I would have even got in more closer and cropped it out. Uh, I like see how we got all this white on the outside there. I would have cropped it in more like this. Boom, look at that. That is awesome. That was a great shot. I love those colors, very fall like colors. That's a good shot there. Very good shot. Cropping is very important, guys. I've learned that from watching uh, like. Many of other like uh, famous photographers, I go to their YouTube pages and they talk a lot about composition and, and cropping your photo can just, even you watch Peter McCain, he's got a couple, Peter McKinnon, he's got a couple videos uh, where he talks, you know, he does his grading, but he spends more time on that crop, cropping that image, you know, is like, you know, comp comp compositing it, compositing it, child compositing, I'm, I've been compositing a lot of stuff, the composition, composition, spending a lot of time on that composition is important. Cool, cool. We got to look somebody's at the airport. Uh, this one was really cool too. Again, I love it. Again, here we here we go again. We got the, we got to play with those shadows. We got to play with the light. And again, I would have cropped that into like this. Look at that. That's fantastic. That looks great. I love those shadows there on the top. You got the reflections up there on the top. That's a great shot. I would have just basically cropped it in a little bit more and get a little closer. Yep, that's a great shot there. Another little city shot here. So. Alrighty, guys. So that was basically the last two, uh, last two, three days, basically, of some of the stuff that people have been doing. Super fantastic. Let's see here. Uh, jump in mobile. If anybody posted anything here in mobile photography, just in case they had a couple photos here. Yeah, this was the photo that basically got us jumping off. That we were like, whoa, this was a great photo. This was fantastic. Uh, and uh, this one gave us the idea that maybe we should do something here. Uh, you can go back and look at our past chats. And uh, we're like, yo, this is great. We should do a, uh, a challenge or something, seasonal challenge. I'm like, okay, let's do it. So we fired it off and we got it going. So, alrighty, guys, we got what day three, four, five, six. We got seven, four more days left. So get in there, jump down in the description, uh, hit that Discord server, get in here and have some fun with us. We're just posting photos, learning, sharing, and having a good time with mobile photography. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. Patrick Lavar. Oh. Whew. Peace. See ya.